This is lesson nine, solving problems about proportional relationships. And this is activity three, moderating comments. In this activity, there are four people that are applying for the same job, and they're actually being tested during the interview to see how many comments they can look at on a website in a certain amount of time. And so to compare the four, I looked at the two properties, which are comments and the amount of time it takes to look at those comments, or how many comments they can look at in a certain amount of time. So there's time and there are comments. And so what connects those two properties, again, is the ratio of comments to time. So comments is equal to this ratio, comments per time times the amount of time. And so the properties are connected by their ratio. That's the constant of proportionality. And I'm gonna change, in each case, I'm gonna change that to the unit rate. How many comments can they look at per minute? So in the first one, and then what I'm going to do is take the number, the amount of time and use that to figure out how, what are the total number of comments. So question number one down here is what's the total number of comments checked by each applicant? And question number two is how fast are they checking those comments? And so for A, they tell you it's 50,000 comments and they take 210 minutes. So the equation is comments equals the t um, comments per time times the time. Well, if you take the total number of comments and you divide it by the amount of time, that's going to give you the number of comments per minute. So in this case, it's 238 and one-tenth comments per one minute. Basically, 238 comments per minute. In B, they tell you that it's 1,325 comments in five minutes. Well, if that's true, then just divide by five. It gives you 265 comments per minute figure out the total number of comments. In A, they gave you the total number of comments, 50,000 comments. In B, you have to figure that out. When you take the comments per minute times the total of the time, which is 200 minutes, multiply them together, you get 53,000 comments. So this is 53,000 comments at 265 comments per minute. And this applicant was 50,000 comments at 238 comments per minute. C they give you the equation. It's comments is equal to, and remember that 331 right there is comments per minute, and then times the time. So that 331 is how many comments in one minute, so that's the rate. And then to get the total number of comments, you multiply that rate times the time, which is 120 minutes. And it tells you that this applicant looked at 39,720 comments um, in 120 minutes, 120 minutes. Oh, actually it's right here, 120 minutes. So that's at a rate of 331 comments per minute. And D, they switch things around a little bit. They tell you what's, they, they give you the equation for the total amount of time, but you want the equation for the total number of comments. Well, you can turn this equation around. So this is time is equal to Remember now, that's time per comment. So that's three minutes per 800 comments. But you want to know the comments per minute or per time. So that's 800 comments per three minutes. So now we're just going the other way. We're changing it to comments are equal to the comments per minutes times the time. Well, 800 comments per three minutes if you do that division, it's 267 comments per minute. The time was 150 minutes, so you multiply them together and you get 40,000 comments. All right, actually what I did is I divided the 150 by three here to get 50 and then 50, five times eight is 40. And so 50 times 800 is 40,000. So it's 40,000 comments in 150 minutes. All right, now this is pretty tough to look at to order them. So now we're supposed to put them in order from greatest to least, both for comments and greatest to least for how fast they check them. So the comments per minute. So the most number of comments in one minute. And in order to organize this so I can look at each applicant in, a, in an organized way, I put them into a table. So I took these amounts, 238 comments per minute, total number of comments, total number of comments here, 
comments per minute. Total number of comments here, comments per minute, and the total number of comments here in this one, and comments per minute was the 267 comments per minute. And I put them in a table. So the total number of comments, and then the comments per minute, and this is applicant A, B, C, and D. And so the, for the total number of comments, A is 50,000, B 53,000, C 39,720, and D 40,000. So in the order, the <clears throat> applicant that looked at the most number of comments is applicant B is first, and the least number of comments was applicant C. But then if you look at the race, so who's looking at the comments the fastest? And now it's a different order. So the very fastest is the most number of comments per minute. So that's C, 331 comments per minute. And the slowest is A, 238 comments per minute. So in A, to look at um, 50,000 comments, they took a longer amount of time. So as a as a person making the hire, you have to figure out what you want. Do you want the, somebody that goes the fastest or gets the most number of comments done? Um, can these people that are can see, for example, who's going the fastest, can they maintain that rate over a longer period of time so that they would look at more comments? So you just have to think about what you want as far as the person that you're hiring.